this the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. This bottle. By the pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. 
cruel, vindictive, not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. It's clear, not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I detail. You... got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran. But this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. This is not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad, though the ladies don't like him. No, foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? 
those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Woman. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she should be, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. She's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like some. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen herd maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, White One, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears.
Hey there. That's it, Roach. village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. So you know who sent me? Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we will... We get along well enough. Ever meet the ladies of the wood? Never. They only shows themselves to the chosen. Perchance one day, I too will be summoned. Hear about an ashen-haired woman meeting the ladies of the wood? Well, I ain't heard nothing about that. Beg your question to the ladies, and they may answer. They knows all that happens in Velen. They got informers? The woods listen for them. A lone word at an ill hour can arouse their wrath, but they hear pleas and prayers as well. Once, a swiner had lost a sow, sat and cried at the crossroads. The sow ran out of the trees as if chased by a devil, straight to the swineherd. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all. Fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Need more details? You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the wisp. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to you. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is? They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Oh, you're that white one. Faster. like rain.
Are you? of power should draw from it 